working out in the garden on this really windy day, but I was so excited about a couple of things that I just had to show you. A nursery in Waco that I had never been to before as I was driving around today just caught my eye. I mean, just plants just jump right out at me sometimes. And I was like, whoa, is that a nursery over there tucked in in the back of like a parking lot? So I pull in safely, I'll just want you to know, and um, found this wonderful nursery that had all kinds of, you know, just out of the ordinary plants. Well, they had all the ordinary plants as well, but their plants were just beautiful. It was called Green Life Nursery in Waco, Texas, and I found the most gorgeous plants just to be beautiful additions to the garden, and I got them planted a second ago. This one just really caught my eye. Look at those purple peppers. Now this is an ornamental pepper, so I bought it for its beauty. Where they say it's okay to eat ornamental peppers, but you're they're just food quality of them is just not guaranteed. I won't be eating these. I really just want to enjoy them. But look how the leaves are variegated in spots. And then, I mean, this one is so pretty. Jess Sowers at Roots and Refuge Farm would just love this plant. I'm sure she's seen one before in all of her um, growing and vast knowledge. But Jess, I got this one with you in my mind. This is a beautiful plant. And then they had some variegated basil. And it just is such a pretty little touch to the whiteness on the outside of the leaves. So when I put these three beauties in my car to come home, the car smelled amazing. I had this kind of dead space in between the cattle where the cattle panel trellises start over there on the far back and where my tomato trellises are. And I was like, I'm not going to be able to really cultivate in there very well, but I want to put something. So I decided on some fragrant herbs and then these just gorgeous ornamental purple peppers. So right now I am planting my Russian purple tomatoes. These were the free seeds that I got when I ordered things from Baker's Creek um, Heritage Seeds. And it's probably a little late in my year, my 8B gardening that I do. It's probably a little late to be putting these out and for them to just be these babies. So it's more experimental than anything. But when I saw Russian uh, purple tomato seeds come in the mail, I had to start some. So I started them in these little grow bags and they're an appreciable size now, but mostly the roots are just really starting to come out of the bag. So I know I need to get them in the ground, especially with the time frame that we're looking at. So I'm just spacing them a good 12 to 18 inches apart, digging a nice big hole, cracking an egg down at the bottom, and we're gonna see how it goes. I got some little zinnias in the ground too, just filling in some spaces. Um, the garden just seems like it's still got some holes, although this one's actually probably pretty full now. But these were just the most delightful little, I don't know, when I saw them I just thought, how sweet are they? This is a beautiful little zinnia. It reminds me of the tin flowers I have on the sides of the house. But I put a little diamond shape pattern right here next to the beautiful variegated basil. And then I showed you the balloon flowers the other day how interesting I think their blooms come up. Let me see if I can find, here's one here. So they, I showed this to you because of the sweet little shape that those come up, but then look what they start doing as they get closer to blooming. They have, you know, they're just starting to get their color, but they haven't opened up yet. It's just so pretty, a little star shape, and then the flower will just open up like this. Here's one over here that's already bloomed. Very delightful balloon plants, balloon flowers. So enjoyable. A little splash of color. I think I might have gone a little bit pink and purple over here. What do y'all think? The purple um, peppers, Russian purple tomatoes, purple balloon flowers. But I did add the pink in with the zinnias. Since it's so windy today and I'm competing with that for sound, I'm going to leave you guys today. 
Thank you so much for joining. I picked up a few new subscribers this week and I just couldn't be more grateful. This little sweet spot right here, it's a little place I tucked some succulents. Just another peaceful view. In all things you do, find peace. Thanks for watching.